Hi guys, I hope for a while, and welcome to episode 130 of the James Layton Fitness Podcast. So in this specific podcast, we'll be discussing a strategy that you can implement immediately if you really struggle to have time to eat larger meals at work, potentially don't have much time on your lunch break to consume meals, or potentially your role involves lots of traveling in between clients and customers, and therefore you just do not have the time to sit down and have these larger meals. Now first it's just really important to put this into context and to appreciate what is the most important factor with regards to nutrition within a fat loss phase and the muscle building phase and that is meeting daily calorie and macronutrient targets so daily calorie, protein, carbohydrate and fat figures. The totals that are met by the end of the day are the most important factors. It doesn't matter how frequently you're eating throughout the day, it doesn't matter if you have larger meals in the evening or the morning, it really does not matter as long as those totals are met. More specifically, within the fat loss phases, actually protein, the daily calorie figures are the most important factor and therefore the carbohydrate to fat ratio really does not matter within that context. The reason why this is critical is this is therefore going to allow you just to basically snack on small food, small meals throughout the day and then the evening you can have a significantly larger meal in an effort to basically make up the net difference of any calories and macronutrients you're short of. The reason why this is powerful is this just takes the pressure off during the day you can just snack on small foods that I'll discuss a couple of examples in a second throughout the day knowing that you're going to have a much larger meal in the evening you're going to make up for those calories and macronutrients you haven't eaten throughout the day and therefore you're still going to stay on track with your fat loss or muscle building goals so some simple foods you can easily snack on throughout the day things like protein bars protein powders fruit nuts things like this are absolutely ideal potentially some some pre-cooked meats things that are very simple just to snack on throughout the day that take zero prep time and they also take very little time to actually consume as well and also the reason why i've selected a handful of these specific foods as it covers all the macronutrients protein powder protein bars potentially some cooked meats obviously protein fruit obviously carbohydrates and nuts mainly fats some small amount of protein there as well and therefore we've got all of these key macronutrients within our day that take zero time at all to consume now there's another benefit as well to using this strategy typically within more specifically within the fat loss phases Hunger can become a real issue as you've, if you've ever been in a dieting phase before you obviously know you get more hungry, it becomes more difficult to stick to the diet and therefore you typically go off plan. But most pe- people are typically more hungry later in the day as opposed to earlier in the day and therefore by essentially aligning more calories later in the day really allows you to blunt hunger and therefore stay on track with your nutrition targets for longer and as a result get better results in the long term so having more calories later in the day helps a blunt hunger and then earlier in the day when you're not as hungry you're just simply not eating as many calories so this really could be a game changer for you this is something i discuss with my coaching clients personal training clients if they have very busy working lifestyles very little time to consume meals at work or they're traveling a lot between clients and customers for their for their work as well this is a great strategy to implement because it just takes the pressure off you don't have to panic in terms of thinking that oh my god i need to i need to have a massive meal at lunchtime or or at break i'm not going to achieve my fat loss and muscle building goals and you're not forced to eat every two to three mi- three hours this is a big misconception people believe that if they don't eat frequently throughout the day their metabolic rate is going to slow and they're not going to achieve their fat loss goals it just simply is not correct your metabolic rate is broken up into four parts we have the thermic effect of food we have the amount of calories you're burning during exercise we have your basal metabolism which is closely related to how much muscle mass you have And we have NEAT as well, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. None of these four components are influenced by how frequently you are eating throughout the day. And therefore, you do not have to panic 
eat a meal frequency that suits your lifestyle. If it means less meals per day, it's absolutely fine. But I really would strongly suggest implementing this strategy as soon as possible because this could really make things so much easier just knowing that you've got that larger meal in the evening to make up the net difference of what calories and macronutrients you're short of. So hopefully that's been useful. If you're still yet to subscribe to the podcast, please do as I've got lots more podcasts coming. These come out every single week. And if you're still yet to download my free ebook, How to Set Up a Nutrition Plan, if you go to my website, James Layton, L-A-Y-T-1, fitness.co.uk, you'll see a tab at the top of the page called free ebook and you can download that immediately. And that will teach you exactly how to set these daily nutrition targets, daily protein, carbohydrate, fat, calorie figures suitable for fat loss or muscle building also teaches you how to make changes so you continue to make progress when you reach a fat loss or muscle building plateau. Thank you very much. I look forward to speaking to you next week. Take care.